So after I lost my pro contract and started to ride for Sigma, I was in a situation where I, I could race my bike, um, my expenses and stuff were covered, but I obviously needed to pay the mortgage. So I sat with a friend of mine, Mike, Mike Harrison, dear friend, and he said, have you ever thought about joining the police? And I was like, no. Six months later, I was in the police wearing a big hat. So the commentating side of things for me, I've been doing it now for around five years. It was almost by chance that it kind of happened and I, I was managing the Sigma team at the Tour Series and um, I was asked as one of the managers to talk about one of the routes. I think it was up, I think it was up in Scotland actually. So I had a, I had a chat with, uh, with Ned Bolting and it went really well and they asked me to do another one on one of the other courses to the extent that they said, can you come and actually be our advice, like the kind of pundit for the tour series? So I did, and that led on to doing the Tour of Britain as the pundit for ITV. And then I just sent a CV via a friend to, uh, to Eurosport to say, look, this is what I've done in vision. I've never commentated before, but I think I'd be okay at it. And they gave me a shot, incredibly. Two or three months later, they said there was this gig I could do, Arctic Race of Norway. Did it, and it went really well, and then it just evolved from there. So I did that whilst I was still in the police. And then I just decided, right, I'm going to give up the police to pursue this because it's, this is an opportunity I can't, I can't miss, and I love it. And I, it's just, I kind of, I love cycling that much. You know, I, I kind of want to share that passion via telling a story over pictures you can see, but just to try and give it that extra kind of narrative kind of flavour is, is what I absolutely adore, especially the live kind of vibe of it as well.